All right, I want to give a shout out to Lackluster Video again. Watch this one. This is good because it gives an example of contempt of cop. <clears throat> what that is, is when officers feel like the people that they're pulling over aren't giving them the proper respect. <clears throat> you know, the, the respect that they're due because they have a badge on and they think they're God's gift or whatever. This officer completely screws over this woman who fit a description or whatever, and then the cop goes on to lie about the interaction, but this woman filed a complaint, and you gotta always get the officer's name and badge number so you can file complaints and hold them accountable, like this one here. Thank you, Lackluster. Check this video out, it is good. Let me see your ID. What for? Get off the bike. Put your hands behind your back because you were throwing stuff at me. You handed me the ID card like you wanted to use it as a weapon and throw it at me. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. On October 19th of 2017, a fearful Mesta Park resident called 911 to report a white male and white female on bikes riding around the area looking in driveways. The log also shows the caller thought they might have been looking to see who was home. Kelsey Pierce happened to be riding her bicycle to work in the area, wearing a dark blue top and a backpack when she was pulled over by Oklahoma City Police Officer James Herlihy. Where do you live at? I'm sorry. Where do you live at? Let me see your ID. What for? Let me see the ID, or you're going to go in handcuffs, go in the back of the car to like figure out what's going on. Someone called about a female okay, with a black shirt and a backpack. I right. Let me see um, your ID. I live um, this is my Halloween costume that I'm wearing at work today. There is my ID. Take it out of there for me. Get off the bike. Put your hands behind your back. After a quick exchange, the officer handcuffs Miss Pierce and puts her in the back seat of his vehicle. You gotta make things difficult, I see. Okay, keep That's exaggerating true. everything. Have a seat. The Supreme Court has not been without sympathy for the police officer who finds himself in an emergency in which he must either seize evidence without the benefit of a warrant or helplessly stand by and watch the evidence be destroyed. However, in Oklahoma, a search of a person's belongings, such as a backpack, can only be conducted if they've given consent. A warrant has been issued, the search falls under the guidelines of the Plainview Doctrine, or the person has been lawfully arrested. Courts generally consider two questions when determining if the Fourth Amendment applies to a particular situation or not. Number one, did the person actually expect privacy? And two, was that expectation of privacy one that society would consider reasonable? In the following clip, the officer searches through the contents of Miss Pierce's backpack, which was left open on the street. This should serve as a valuable lesson to anyone watching this video. Kelsey had no lawful duty to ID herself, but since she had opted to, and opened her bag to retrieve her identification for the officer, she would have had to close her backpack to prevent a lawful search of her belongings. Whether it is a bag, car or jacket pocket, remember to close your items to prevent a search. Following the search, Officer Herlihy radios in to check if Miss Pierce had a warrant out for her arrest and began questioning her. Looks like this search is kind of nice and we're ready for Are you riding with anybody else today? No, sir. This is my first time to ride my bike. Okay. And you okay. startled me when you honked at me and told me to get off of my bike and for no reason. I mean, well, there is a reason. Like I said, we received a call that a female with a backpack and a black shirt, which that's close enough to black, well, was riding you know, in the neighborhood. I was obviously willing to cooperate. You startled the shit out of me. 
Well, obviously you weren't. That's why you're in handcuffs in the back seat of the car because you were throwing stuff at me. You handed me the ID card like you wanted to use it as a weapon and throw it at me. In a minute, as soon as I see that, if you're clear of warrant. Is it a FR or DI, Alan? Oh, okay. During his line of questioning, Officer Hurley he accuses Miss Pierce of throwing stuff at him and handing the ID card to him as though she wanted to use it as a weapon. Prior to the widespread use of body cams, this accusation would have been enough to have put Miss Pierce in jail. But due to the video captured during this incident, it seems as though the accusations erupt from a well-known term, contempt of cop. Contempt of cop is law enforcement jargon for behavior by people towards law enforcement officers that the officers perceive as disrespectful or insufficiently deferential to their authority. It is a play on the phrase contempt of court and is not an actual offense. The phrase is associated with unlawful arbitrary arrest and detention of individuals, often for exercising rights guaranteed to them by the United States Constitution. Contempt of cop is often discussed in connection to police misconduct, such as use of excessive force or even police brutality as a reaction to perceived disrespectful behavior rather than for any legitimate law enforcement purpose. Thank you. Okay, come on, step out. Turn around. Against the vehicle there. Hands to the vehicle? No, no, turn around. I'm going to take the handcuffs off. 99 out of 100 people we stop and talk to don't go in handcuffs, but they cooperate. All I asked was for your ID. Okay. Told you why you were stopped. Okay. I don't appreciate it. Thank you. Well, it doesn't matter. Someone caught, stop moving. I don't have the other hand. I am here. late for work, and quite honestly, this has been an awful experience. Well, I would just like to go now. Call. You can tell them, call Oklahoma City Police Department, and you were stopped because you matched the description of someone who was riding down the neighborhood. Call 16, no drive. I the black don't shirt. have One second, Kelly. Adam Ocean Charles, 072. Case number, please. Here's your ID back. I've been pulled over before, but never... Take care. Take care. Tom 16, case number 84593. A little more than five minutes after the unlawful arrest or detention, dispatch clears Miss Pierce and Officer Hurlihy releases Miss Pierce without any further investigation to the initial complaint. Miss Pierce went on to file a complaint for what she considered rough treatment. During the investigation of the call log, one entry shows that Hurlihy tried to back up the assertion of the license being thrown, but the video shows that Miss Pierce simply handed the license to him. When the investigation was concluded, a police official wrote to Miss Pierce stating the following, I've concluded there is sufficient evidence to sustain an allegation of misconduct against the officer. The officer's actions were not consistent with the standards of this department. Appropriate measures have been taken to correct the officer's behavior. We will never know the extent of the disciplinary actions taken because Officer Hurley's discipline did not rise to the level of being releasable under the Open Records Act. For the discipline to be releasable, the employee must have been either terminated, suspended, demoted, or suffer loss of pay, and none of those things occurred. Feel free to comment down below what you feel would be appropriate actions for the OKCPD to take regarding this incident. Kelsey Pierce did contact an attorney and made an attempt to hold the officer accountable, but no civil suits have been filed to this day. As always, thank you for watching. If you have an incident you'd like me to review, email me, submit it on my website or Facebook Messenger. All those links are down below. That concludes our video for today. Please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. If you're old here, like, share, comment down below what you think of this interaction and consider a channel membership or merch to further support the channel. If you have an incident you'd like us to review, link it down below or contact us through the social media platforms linked in the description.